people put money into people's pockets and uplift their standards of living. That is a commitment that he took the Bible at Kasarani on 13th of September and so before God and before man to do so. You can continue shouting from the rooftop. You can continue writing screaming headlines. You can continue creating false narratives. And I must tell you, because it's important that I do, so that you don't confuse the people of Kenya. When we came into government, there was no sufficient foreign exchange to buy fuel. We have inquired about 500 million US dollars every month. And as a result, the Kenya shilling became very weak. And the dollar was going to 140, 141, 145, headed to 150 shillings per dollar. Had President William Ruto and his government not intervened, through a government-to-government -government arrangement where we get fuel on a six-month credit period to cushion the shilling from further sliding down, reduce the need for the shilling, therefore to, to stabilize the shilling, the dollar today would be at 200 shillings. But that single intervention by government has stabilized the dollar at about 135 shillings. And things are even getting better. And as we proceed with the interventions that are being made, and we thank God for the good rains, we expect a bumper harvest, we expect surplus food, we expect the dollar will go downwards. But, today, but you are carrying a headline to say that that is a scandal. Stopping the sliding of the shilling against the dollar to levels that are unprecedented in this country, you find that a scandalous. Because this press would have wished, together with Asimio, the dollar to go to 200 shillings so that you can criticize the president and the government. You will not be allowed. And we'll call you out every day. Any story you write that